Hello, this is Ray Paik. I'm the Community Manager at GitLab. Uh, welcome to our wrap-up session for the Q2 Hackathon. Uh, it's been a, a there's been a tremendous amount of activities in the past few days, and if you're like me in the Pacific time zone, the two-day period for the Hackathon isn't even over. Uh, so, uh, again, I mean, thank you for your, all your energy and contributions and activities. Uh, just go through a quick wrap-up session and um, also post this on the uh, Hackathon playlist for those of you who couldn't uh, join us live. Um, so let me uh, do the full presentation view of the, of the slide deck. Uh, so let me quickly move along. Uh, so first of all, uh, big thanks, uh, not only to the wider community members who participated, uh, in contributing MRs, but also those who uh, participated and led uh, tutorial sessions and, and office hours that we had. had. Uh, I think all of them were yesterday on the 13th. Um, after the kickoff, we had a couple of office hours for the runner and package uh, group uh, package group teams. Uh, we not only had GitLab team members, but appreciated um, various community members uh, dialing in, uh, adding your feedback and thoughts, and also talking about your contributions specifically. Um, I think for the runners, runner office hours in the last 10 minutes or so, we did a live review of, of the MR that uh, the community member has contributed uh, about a week ago. So it was kind of fun to go through sort of synchronous feedback process of, of the MR. Um, and I think a package group, uh, same thing. There was one or two contributors who were talking about it, uh, what they're planning on in, in terms of doing their work and then nudging the GitLab team members uh, in terms of the review uh, that uh, they're expecting. So um, both for interactive and fun event and also want to thank Sarah, uh, uh, the senior product manager for the health team. Uh, giving us an introduction into the uh, to the health group, uh, we've actually had a um, number of uh, wider community contributors uh, that have been making contributions over the past three or six months, which has been awesome. Uh, and one of the contributors sort of um, jumped in and, and shared his experience um, uh, in terms of working with the the various team members in the, in the health group and uh, his experience contributing. So I, if you haven't, if you weren't able to join those calls, I encourage you to uh, listen to the recordings and I have the links to, um, uh, obviously to the Hackathon page, you'll, you'll find the embedded videos there or you can watch all of them on the Hackathon playlist at your leisure. Um, uh, so, oh, have a, obviously have a typo here, which I'll fix. Um, so, MRs for the Q2 Hackathon. Um, we, I mean, I just, I was just doing a last count about uh, 15 minutes ago. We did surpass 200 MRs, uh, believe it or not. And I mean, I keep saying this over and over again. It sounds like I sound like a broken record, but you know, yet again, we set another record. Uh, we completely smashed the previous record of 147. Um, and uh, and then I know there are like a several still sitting in my inbox. Uh, waiting for me to be triaged. So, I mean, well over 200 MRs. I mean, congratulations to everybody and thank you. And uh, out of the 200, when I checked about an hour ago, I mean, there were, you know, 35, 40 MRs already merged. So we're um, obviously well on our way in terms of, um, you know, getting uh, getting things added to our product. Um, and just like you know, previous um, hackathons. I mean, the MRs were not just for the Git main GitLab project, but for charts, GDK, Gitter, uh, www.gitlab.com, which is our website, uh, and including our handbook. I especially appreciated a lot of people looking through our handbook and uh, providing suggestions on how to improve them. So thank you. And it's it's very possible. I, I know that there are MRs that I haven't added to this uh, issues page or are keeping track of the MRs. If I if we miss anything, please ping me or David Planella on Gitter or via email and just uh, or even in, directly in your MR and just remind us that I uh, forgot to add it to the list for for the hackathon MR so that you get the due credit. Um, and um, just the other thing that I wanted to point out, uh, this issue, uh, issue number 35, if you click on the link, uh, in this section we have suggested epics or issues that people want to work on. 
and you probably saw like yesterday, uh, people have already like pretty much completed like a, all the issues that were listed for, for the front end and, and a couple of ex ep epics that are listed there. Uh, so just uh, even on in the middle of day one, I knew this was going to be a good hackathon because those were like, uh, you know, all the issues like people were grabbing and then and, and just working on them. So definitely do appreciate that. Um, um, prizes in the next hackathon. I'm just winding down here in terms of a wrap up. Um, so a, a reminder on, on the right, you see the various prizes we have. We obviously have the traditional grand prize we have uh, where you get to spend $100 at, at shot.getlab.com. Uh, and a second place prize, which is a cross body bag. Uh, and then everyone who has MRs merged by the 26th, uh, gets us a wireless charger uh, that's sort of fabric covered, like looks pretty attractive. So hopefully you'll all enjoy it. Um, so again, I mean, the only, I mean, you, you've been able to work in your own time zones uh, over the past couple of days, but the one time where we are on the same clock uh, or, or same deadline is basically for, for MRC to be merged. Uh, it's at 2300 UTC on the 26th, which is Tuesday. Uh, I, I, um, uh, giving an extra day because in, in the U.S. at least the 25th is a holiday, so I wanted to have uh, at least provide additional day for for people to have the MR merge. But if you need any help or you think there has been delay in getting your MRs reviewed in a timely fashion, please ping me or David, uh, and we'll make sure we'll make sure that it it gets addressed in a timely fashion. Or if we need to make an exception, we're happy to do that. Uh, dates for the Q3 hackathon. I um, I'm still uh, trying to fix on a date in August. Uh, in I'll, in the next slide, I'll I'll talk about why uh, in a minute. Um, so we'll, we'll likely be definitely be second half of um, of August in 2020. Uh, so in about three months, and then please look for announcements on on various channels where you get uh, news from GitLab on whether it's Gitter, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Reddit, and our forum, et cetera, uh, we'll definitely make an announcement. I might actually make an announcement pretty soon. Um, and if you also have any feedback on future events, uh, including like uh, tutorial topics that you're interested in hearing or listening to or, or issues that you wanna, you're interested in working on, please let me or David know. Uh, definitely like to hear from you on, on how we can make the event better. Um, so just one more sort of advertising. Uh, the one of the reasons why I'm, I'm still deliberating on the hackathon date for Q3 is we have a, a GitLab commit event in, on August 26. Uh, so I have a URL there and then um, also the, uh, capture the screenshot. Uh, for the event page. So uh, if you're not familiar, GitLab Commit, we started last year. Uh, I mean, um, we started in like Brooklyn, London, and, and San Francisco. Um, this is our first edition of user conference in, in three different locations. Uh, for this year, I mean, for obvious reasons, a lot of conferences are having to go virtual. So this will be a virtual event uh, or online event rather than meeting face to face. Uh, so that's scheduled for Wednesday, August 26. Uh, so I'm trying to find an optimal date to, to schedule the hackathon around, um, but it'll definitely be uh, less. Uh, half of August. Um, but while I'm talking about commit, I'd like you to encourage you to um, uh, uh, subscribe to updates on the event. Uh, and then, I mean, if you go to this page, you will be able to check out contents from last year. And also, I'd like to uh, invite uh, the wider community members who are thinking about coming and not, not only uh, attending the event, but also uh, sharing your stories. Uh, so the CFP call for proposal uh, period is open uh, until first week of June. Uh, so it's pretty simple. Just hit the submit uh, your, your talk button um, and uh, I mean, submit your talk proposals. And I believe there's a uh, uh, we're going to have a track that's focused on community uh, or wider community. So we definitely uh, welcome your contributions. And if you have any questions about the CFP, the process, or ideas that you want to uh, get some feedback on, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, and either myself or my other colleagues at GitLab will be able to, uh, will be more than happy to uh, help you um, uh, with your CFPs. 
so that's just wanted to uh, mention that. I mean, that's sort of the reason why we're I'm still delivering on the date, but uh, hopefully I hope to make an announcement soon. Uh, so um, again, I want to thank you, uh, and let me pause here and see if there are any questions uh, that people want to verbalize or on the chat window. Give it a few minutes here. Yeah, if there are no questions, again, thank you very much for your uh, enormous energy and enthusiasm over the past few days. Uh, uh, obviously, we're you know a lot of places around the world we're we're going through unprecedented times, and this uh, gave me a sense of normalcy. I mean, just good old GitLab community members coming together and and making huge amount of contributions. Um, so. Um, you know, it just you just brought a big smile on my face, and also gave me a sense of normalcy and normal routine. So I, I really thank you for that. So I want everybody to stay safe and healthy, and we'll do this again in in three months. Thanks very much. <laughs>